I really believe that Bob Dylan belongs in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I think that his influence on not just the artists, I mean clearly he's got a big influence on, on a handful of artists who he performs with, you know, Johnny Cash. Um, uh, um, I see him, uh, you know, I, I think that Merle Haggard was influenced by his song craft. Um, but beyond the, just the association, I mean, Bob Dylan is from a country music landscape. The Iron Range of northern Minnesota and that stretch of Ontario, up above Lake Superior, that's country music country. What did Bob do when he was a kid? He turned on the Grand Ole Opry and he listened to Wayne Rainey blow harmonic for Roy, for Roy Acuff. First song he cut, the Freight Train Blues. Well, that's a Red Foley tune and not a, not a new Red, I mean, that song is from 1923. That thing is old. I mean, Red Foley played that thing on WLS. Uh, so, Bob is part of this link of chain that goes really far back, and he shares it with, um, you know, some really important early hillbilly recording artists. Oh man, there's just so many reasons why Bob ought to be in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I really enjoy um, the performance of it because in 2016 and 2017, and probably for the next three or four years, I imagine, um, to be able to stand up on the stage in this era and be able to recite um, some, some fiery, at times vitriolic, Bob Dylan lyric at an audience and be a little raving about it feels like um, kind of the best I can do in order to have my voice heard.